thiol. Uh, in the previous presentation, we have seen there are three different uh, lymphocytes and we have also seen different developmental stages like nerve cells, effector cells and memory cells. And the three most important lymphocytes are B lymphocytes, T lymphocytes and natural killer cells or the NK cells. Now in this presentation, we will see the B lymphocytes in particular, their features, uh, their activation and also other, other different reactions of B lymphocytes. Okay. So, <coughs> B lymphocytes are uh, uh, already we have stated that lymphocytes are very important for any kind of immune responses, right. So, here the B lymphocytes are the major immune cells responsible for the production of antibodies. As uh, we have seen in the previous presentation that uh, there are plasma cells differentiated from a B cell and they are responsible for the production of antibodies. Right. So, in short, you can say in general that B cells are the antibody producing cells or when you say in specific plasma cells are the antibody producing cells. So, the plasma cells but are developed from a B cell right? and these antibodies are very specific molecules to react against the foreign substances. Okay. So, there is something uh, interesting about the uh, name why they are called B lymphocytes, why what, what stands the B letter B. The name B lymphocyte as they were first identified in birds and not in birds and uh, uh, the B not stand for birds, but in an organ called bursa of Fabricius. It is named as bursa of Fabricius and this was the site for B cell maturation in birds, right. We know that there are immune systems in most of the vertebrate organisms <coughs> including birds. So, in birds the B cells are maturated after synthesis in the bone marrow they undergo maturation in a separate organ called the bursa of Fabricius. So, we can see certain features of uh, this bursa of Fabricius. Let us go. Yeah. So, this bursa you can see look at the uh, image you can see this bursa of Fabricius is a separate uh, sac like organ found only in birds, these are uh, usually the lymphocytes or the lymphoid cells or particularly B cells will migrate from the fetal liver to the bursa, right. So, these stem cells acquire the characteristic of mature immunocompetent B cells, right. Then uh, the name like you know uh, why it is called bursa fabricious because the, the scientist who identified this mechanism or this organ is called Hieronymus Fabricius uh, and that is why it is called uh, Bursa Fabricius, right. So, this is the site of simply you can you have to remember that this is the site of B cell development in birds, okay. So, that is why it is called B lymphocytes. In humans and also in other mammals, other vertebrates uh, like mice, the site of maturation is not. Uh, bursa fabricius we know that it is not uh, it is otherwise it is bone marrow itself right and there is a specific receptor on every B cell called uh, the B cell receptor and that is a unique identity for any every B cells that they have a receptor called a B cell receptor and uh, this will be uh, this is the way how we have to represent B cells. The cell is the same and we have to mark the B cell receptors and these B cell receptors are unique to B cells. So, these B cell receptors will be present on these B cells uh, as and when they leave the bone marrow. That means, during maturation itself they acquire this B cell receptor and the process of uh, this B cell receptor development is, a, is another, another uh, point of discussion and not now moving into that part of discussion during the development of B cell or the progress of growth of B cells from the immature or the uh, pro B cell into the mature B cell during that stage there will be the process that, that there will be the synthesis of the B cell receptor. Okay. And these receptors are responsible for definitely will be responsible for interaction of these B cells with antigens. Right. And uh, chemically these receptors are antibody molecule. This is an important point that 
the B cell receptor is an antibody molecule. So, you have to remember this point uh, and you have to understand this point very clearly that B cell receptor is a receptor found on every B cell and chemically these B cell receptors are these are protein receptors and these are functionally these are antibody molecules and out of the antibody they belongs to the category called IgD or IgM. Usually either IgM or IgD will be the B cell receptor. This point you have to remember very clearly right. And uh, 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 when we discuss about the number of these receptors it is also very heavy, heavy number is there like 1.5 into 10 is to 5 molecules of antibodies on the membrane of a single B cell. So, you have to imagine that heavy number 1.5 into 10 is to 5 receptors on a single B cell will be present normally and this will help the B cell to identify or to interact with the antigen right and this will help in the identical bindings will, will provide an identical binding site for the for, uh, for interaction with an antigen. <coughs> so, these are responsible for the interaction that is already we stated and in addition to this B cell receptor there are many other receptors also ok. So, that we will see. So, first we have to see what are the uh, uh, peculiar features of the B cell receptor. You can see look at the image this is this image represents a B cell receptor there are two structures actually shown there is an MIG something given as MIG. This is what uh, uh, we have seen that these are the antibody molecules and in addition to this antibody there are certain other structures also. So, let us see what are the points here. So, the B cell receptor is a membrane bound immunoglobulin that is what MIG membrane bound immunoglobulin and it is not only this MIG not only a membrane bound immunoglobulin, but when we when we analyze them deeply you can also see that there is it is complexed with two other transmembrane polypeptides called as uh, membrane bound immunoglobulin alpha and beta that is alpha and beta here you can see these are small uh, transmembrane polypeptides you can see there. There is only one domain outside, but for this immunoglobulin uh, molecule there are many domains uh, usually there are th uh, four to five different domains are there outside the membrane, but for these uh, smaller molecule there is only one domain outside the a, a plasma membrane, but uh, rather they have uh, a longer tail portion there is a longer cytoplasmic portion ok, but for this one there is a shorter cytoplasmic portion. So, uh, these are important and we will see what are the uh, uh, significance of this cytoplasmic tail. So, this additional polypeptides will help in intracellular signaling as they have long cytoplasmic tail to interact with intracellular signaling molecule. See, we know that uh, when an antigen comes, the antigen will interact over here. The antigen will interact in this part of this antibody molecule, and there will be sig there will be communication. If suppose you imagine there is no this Ig alpha and Ig beta, so this molecule itself has to pass the signal into the uh, into the molecules below this one, and ultimately to the nucleus for the synthesis and activation process. But here the limitation is that there is a very small cytoplasmic a tail is present for this antibody. So, what actually they do is they activate this one they activate this Ig alpha and Ig beta first. So, this Ig alpha and Ig beta Ig alpha and Ig beta uh, with a long cytoplasmic tail will communicate the other molecules for the further activation right. So, uh, that is what given here interaction of B cell receptor with specific parts of antigen leads to the activation and differentiation of B cells to produce plasma cells and memory cells. So, for that the communication is very important. Then uh, uh, the other receptors in addition to the B cell receptor the other most important receptors are B220 uh, which is a frequently used as a B cell marker because they are commonly found on B cell surfaces. The second one is class 2 MHC. This is very important that this presence of this class 2 MHC molecule helps these B cells to act as an antigen presenting cells right. That means, these uh, B cells 
can process and present antigens to T cells right especially uh, T helper cells. So, B cells are capable of presenting antigens to T helper cells right and this is because of the presence of class 2 MHC molecule. Then other receptors like CR1 and CR2 these are nothing but complement receptor complement receptor 1 and 2 they are responsible for interaction they help in interaction with complement products like there are various complement proteins present in the uh, in the fluids or in the blood and the other uh, body fluids so that they are uh, 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 they will be they will be complementation there will be uh, activation of various reactions in response to a complement activation so cr1 and cr2 receptor on the b cell will help in in the in the coordinated reaction of immune responses okay <coughs> Then FCR2 or FC gamma R2, this is a receptor for the uh, FC portion of the IgG molecule. IgG is an important antibody or that is the uh, uh, predominant antibody molecule seen in the body or seen in the immune system. So, this IgG will be present almost 80 percentage of the antibody belongs to IgG category. So, uh, IgG sometimes need to interact with uh, these B cells. So, for that there is, there is a this uh, antibody molecule has an FC portion. So, this FC portion of the antibody will interact with uh, this FCR2 receptor or CD32 receptor. Then other receptors are B71 and B72. They are molecules that interact with the uh, CD28 and CTLA4. These are also other receptors uh, or important regulatory molecules on the surface of different types of T cells especially T helper cells right. Then finally, CD40 it is a molecule that interact with CD40 ligand on the surface of T cells again. So, B cells uh, 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 have to interact with various other cells like uh, T helper cells or the uh, complement proteins uh, and also other pro other cells and molecules of the immune system and for that all these, recept these receptors will help the B cell for that kind of interaction. So, here is the representation of antibody production by the B cells. So, already we have seen that the nave cells will be present in the circulation and also in the secondary sites. And uh, these nave cells will interact with an antigen. Now, you can see the antigen comes and interact with the B cell receptors. So, this leads to the uh, further differentiation. So, now this B cell now differentiated into two cell types called memory cells and the antibody secreting plasma cells. So, there is memory cell and plasma cell synthesis. This is a differentiation process in response to interaction with an antigen. And this memory cells already we have seen in the previous presentation that they are responsible for the for keeping the memory for the second exposure or second infection. In that time there will be a faster uh, activation of the immune system. But here the plasma cells are important these are the effector cells. These effector cells will produce antibody molecule you can see here the produced antibodies are IgM because IgM is the primary antibody that is the first antibody usually produced by the by the plasma cell in response to an antigen. So, these antibodies will be complementary to this antigen so that the these antibody can eliminate all those antigens present in the body right and after that there will be class switching and other mechanisms to produce different uh, types of other various classes of antibody molecule right. So, that is about this antibody production and this memory cell for the next exposure will further differentiate into plasma cell and memory cell again again that plasma cell also is capable of producing antibody molecule. So, that is about B lymphocyte all right. <coughs> so, in short B lymphocytes are the lymphocytes with a specific receptor called B cell receptor or B BCR. They are given the name because the B cell maturation in birds occurs in a separate organ called bursa fabricius and uh, it was initially identif identified in birds that is why it is called B lymphocyte. Okay. And uh, we have seen some features about the B cell receptors. These are immunoglobulin molecule, particularly they are they belongs to IgM or IgD category. 
and there is not only an immunoglobulin but additionally there are two transmembrane proteins like Ig alpha and Ig beta. They also help in signal transduction properly right and finally the antibody production this occurs in the in the secondary sites usually uh, when the nerve cells interact with an antigen there is differentiation into memory cells and plasma cell the plasma cell will produce the antibody. So, that is about B lymphocytes hope you can uh, understand and follow right in the next presentation we will see what are T lymphocytes.